What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow Aquarians? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. Today, we are going down the rabbit hole with an energetic update. Just a trigger alert. They've been up, they've been down, so I'm just setting the warning out there first. Who knows? We'll see what Source has to say. But with that being said, guys, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. Knowing that that is a free way to support the channel as well as to connect me with you energetically to get you guys out more resonating readings. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel further or if you're interested in a personal reading, that will always be linked down below in the description box. And I just want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that has liked, shared, commented, subscribed, who has donated, is thinking about donating, who has gotten a personal reading, or is thinking about getting a personal reading. It has helped me out so much and you guys are truly amazing. And as always, I want to send a shout out to my OGs, my new Gs, and anybody that allows me your most precious asset, your time. As always, it's an honor, blessing, a privilege being here, giving you guys these messages. And my prayer, as always, is that any of the videos of mine that you happen to watch fall upon your heart in a way that reminds you to use your intuition, to use your discernment, to take back your power, and to make the decisions that serve your highest journey in this here, now, now, here moment. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys see what's going on for Aquarius so source what is the energetic update for Aquarius how can we help them out what do they need to know at this time how can we help out our Aquarian friends what do they need to know what is the energetic update for Aquarian friends how can we help them out I feel stuck um, I feel like there's this energy of being stuck Perpetuating heartache. That's what I heard. Source, what is the energetic update for Aquarian friends? You guys are feeling like you can't move on from something. Because if you move on from it, then that means that what you maybe have used to define yourself for so long is actually no longer a defining factor for you. But there is power in moving on, guys. There's a sense of newness if you move on. There's a sense of excitement if you move on. And it will help you guys observe the energies that maybe you've invited into your life that didn't have your best interest in mind. Not everybody does, guys. Even if they say they do, not everybody does. You guys have an opportunity here to bring true abundance into your life in an emotional manner. But there's still this energy of feeling stuck. And if you guys feel stuck in something, it means that you're not completing a cycle that needs to be completed. So how can you guys complete that cycle? How can you guys let go of people who have manipulated you? How can you let go of your own self-manipulations? You know, it's not always everybody else. It could potentially be us. Right? So let's see what's going on, Source. Uh, what messages do you have for Aquarians? The energetic update for Aquarian friends. What do they need to know at this time, Source? Energetic update for Aquarian friends. Let me stop. Energetic update for Aquarian friends, Source energetic update for Aquarian friends. What do they need to know? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is a trigger from childhood. It's interesting because you guys are used to, uh, you guys can disassociate. You're an air sign, which is great. That's like one of the gifts that you guys have been given is the ability to disassociate from emotional upsets. But sometimes you disassociate so much that you guys actually dismiss your healing. You're not actually embracing healing. It's like you're just like basically sweep that under the rug and I won't have to deal with it. But now the rug is getting so piled up that you guys are tripping on it everywhere you go. Yeah, so this has to do with family. Broken heart with family. Like we've got the eight of cups and the four of swords on the bottom over here, right? This is... Uh, Things that have happened between you and family that aren't good, like upsets, angry disputes, battles, emotional manipulation coming through. And it's like they're the ones that have pressured you into being or acting a certain way. And it's overwhelming you now and you're tired of it. They're the ones that broke your heart. So your family did something to you that really made you feel like disconnected from life, like it's like you never really thought it was going to get like this, and then it did. And it's like no matter how much you gave, they still ended up doing this to you. All right. 
So we've got the Three of Cups reversed, the Ace of Swords reversed, the Six of Coins upright, and the Two of Wands reversed. Yeah, it's like you guys have dealt with a lot of emotional neglect and emotional unfulfillment in the past. You guys have had to be the one that stood up. So maybe you were taking care of your siblings from an early age. Like if you're the oldest, you guys took care of your siblings. If you're the youngest, you guys still stepped up emotionally to take care of your siblings, but you never got it in return. Like it was just like... It was expected of you from your parents. It was expected of you from your siblings, but nobody cared to ask, hey, Aquarius, how do you feel? How are you doing? Like, what's going on with you? And so it made you angry and upset. Of course it would. I, I would be angry and upset in a situation like that. Like, really, I'm always there for you, but at the end of the day, you can't be there for me just for some simple things. It's like, even for the massive things, basically, they told you deal with it. But man, they had something that was so tiny that would go go awry and here they come running to you, Aquarius, 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 help me Aquarius. And there you are putting yourself on the back burner and helping them with their bullshit. And you realize that's exactly what it was. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. This could be you guys maybe are an only child and you had to do that for your parents. And that's a big burden for any child to take on no matter if that's taking care of other children or taking care of parents, or taking care of, you know, people who are supposed to be taking care of you. It's a big burden to hold on to. Like if you're a child taking care of children, like, that's crazy. You're a baby. You should be able to enjoy life as a child does. But instead, you took up the responsibility, and you were like, that's cool. I'll handle it. So now, you know, in, in your guys' sign is depicted as the man with the empty pot like he's pouring the empty pot on the ground because there's a hole in his pot and it's like you guys have lived that you've lived that you never knew how to fill up your own cup emotionally but you spent so much time trying to fill up others with your empty cup you know and that's that's a difficult place to be in it's the water bearer with no water you know and that's frightening and i, I think that the thing is is that now it's like you're so mistrusting of your family, but you love them so much. It's like, how can I mistrust them, but still love them? Like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with this situation? Why am I dealing with this? And it's like, you guys are, what you're not seeing here is that it's because of this situation, this, this faulty life that you've had, that you guys are actually going to find a true abundance not only in material finances, but you guys are going to find a true abundance of what equal give and take means. To find people in your life that are going to give to you in the way that you give to them. But you have to make a choice. Are you going to keep defending your family in a karmic cycle that you're in? Or are you going to change your perspective and let go that you have to be there for them no matter what? And that's a hard place to come from, Aquarius, because it's like if you're the one that's always supporting your family and you don't know any different, how do you let go of the only thing that's familiar? You have to make a choice. And you have that opportunity. You are just reached a stalemate. It's like stuck. Like I said, there's a stuck energy that keeps coming through. And it's like you're at the place where you know you need to make a decision. You're at the place where you know I need to go left or right and I don't know which way to, to take. I'm stuck at the fork in the road and I don't know which way is going to serve me the best. Either way, you guys are going to learn the lesson. If you choose to continue on with where you're at right now, what will eventually happen is you guys will get your heart broken enough times to where it will crack the seed and you'll have to grow. Right? Or you can choose to make that growth now and you crack your own seed saying, I'm done. I've had enough. But this disassociation energy where you guys are letting yourselves just basically sweep it under the rug, it's just going to continue to pile up, right? And as it piles up, it's, it's like once the mountain gets too big, you have to climb it. So are you going to look under the rug and actually deal with what's down there? The skeletons, the dirt, the nastiness, the messiness? Are you going to keep trying to see your family through rose colored glasses when you know they're not all they're cracked up to be and they're not all that they're trying to tell everybody that they are you've seen their dirty laundry it doesn't mean you got to air their dirty laundry but it means that you have to determine mm, i love that this card came out it's interesting um you have to determine what's yours to deal with what's yours to wash what's yours to handle yeah we have fear coming out on the bottom 
right? You've got to move from this poverty mindset into this prosperity mindset. And that's not easy. That's not easy. It means letting go of everything you thought was, right? And it's so symbolic that the fear is over the head part of the hyena here because it's like you can't let your head know what your ass is doing. I know that sounds so weird, but it's the truth. And then you also think of Rahu and Ketu or the north and south nodes, right? It's like you can't let the head know what the tail is doing. And that's what the north and south nodes are. It's like the south node is what you're comfortable doing, what you're destined to release. You have to let go, but it's so comfortable for you. And the north node is coming up into your strengths. And it is a true strength in letting go and coming up into what is good for you. That's a true strength. But the north node is you're destined to have as long as you're willing to face what's uncomfortable. And that's scary for you right now is facing what's uncomfortable. Because things have been one way for so long. And you've let them influence you in very unhealthy ways. And you know that. But it's, I keep hearing you, but it's family. But it's family. But that's just family. That's what family does. Through the good and the bad. Always and forever. We're going to be there. No matter how toxic we are for each other. We're always going to show up for one another. But I'm going to tell you guys at the end of the day. You, you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. Because sometimes being in those toxic relationships, they'll keep manifesting out in the realm of 3D. And you'll manifest them in love relationships and friendships. And then you'll be stuck all over again dealing with those. So this time it's asking you, how can you let go of those toxic relationships and come into a balanced state so that you guys can truly get what it is that you're asking for? equal give and take you just want somebody that's there for you okay they want the top card that's too many so all right we'll read this one here in a minute but i want to talk about this we've got meerkat responsibility number seven which is well it's 16 which is seven right seven is all about luck bringing in your luck but i love the symbology on this card because these meerkats have been given paint buckets to paint color on a on a canvas so you guys could be painters you don't have to be but you guys could be painters but it's like seeing things no longer in black and white but realizing that everything is a grayscale there's there's color in between there's this beauty that comes all over but you have to take the responsibility to see it that way it's it's not cookie cutter clean sometimes the cookie cutters don't cut the way that you want them to and they leave a great mess and it's like can you be okay with that mess and just accept it as it is can it still be as delicious as the other cookies sure it's like when you're spending all your time to try and make everybody fit into this perfect version of what they need to be you're just going to end up disappointed every time rather than taking care of yourself and accepting yourself so that you can accept others it's so important here you know and i feel like that's where you're at right now you're 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 trying to be the perfect being so that everybody will step up to your level when in reality you're just perpetuating toxic energy right rather than saying you know what i need to deal with myself and i need to stop showing up for you guys a hundred percent of the time because i have things that i have to deal with you know just because people have chaos in their life doesn't mean that the person who's always helping doesn't deal with chaos and that's sometimes something that these people who are constantly expecting you to help them out they they don't believe what you've gone through is anything compared to what they have when in reality this, I'm just going to say it. The things that you've experienced, Aquarius, are things that they could never make it through. So you, you have a right and a duty to yourself to offer yourself that self-love and that compassion and that time to deal with that. Even if they're not going to show up for you, that's fine. You can still show up for yourself and you'll get healing from that instead of sweeping your own stuff under the rug, hoping that one day it's going to go away. Because I'm going to tell you it's not. You're just compartmentalizing it. We have Reveal the Peacock Beauty, number 24, which is six again. Yeah, balance, you know, and six for me is all about seeing yourself through the eyes of the divine. Loving yourself unconditionally. You know, Source sees us as, as beings worthy of unconditional love when we don't. It doesn't matter what we've done. Source will always love us unconditionally. Can you love yourself unconditionally? says the beauty of the peacock is breathtaking with stunning lush color unfolding and graceful and proud display 
You two are a great beauty, beloved. Within you resides a glorious divine being, a beautiful light with an ability to create as your divine birthright. The peacock beauty speaks to you of your creative energies rising to sublime, inspired new levels as you are accessing the power of your throat chakra for higher creation. Your intentions, decisions, and particularly your words are becoming more powerful. Enjoy the wise use of this growing creative potency to express the beauty within you, asking for divine blessing on all your plans, projects, and words. The peacock beauty can silence us with her sheer magnificence, reminding us of the power of genuine beauty to bring us into peace and harmony within. And isn't that funny? Because number six is all about balance and harmony as well. There is a stirring within you to create greater beauty in your life, to honor the creative ability that you have to express such sublime feelings that reside within you, which is why I feel like they said that some of you guys could be painters. You know, get painting, get expressing, get creative with the way you express yourself. As the soul grows spiritually, the creative energies begin to rise from the sacral chakra and the hips and pelvis to the throat chakra where they can be translated into sound and made manifest. What once would have been more instinctual creativity, beautiful in its own way, becomes inspired and sublime, adding depth and healing energy to your creative expressions. You can begin to create divine beauty through your words, actions. You become an active healing force for divine beauty in, other, in our world. As the power of the throat chakra grows, our urge to express ourselves in a uniquely creative way can become strong. This creativity is the voice of the soul wishing to manifest itself in the physical world. The power of your soul is starting to flow through your words and plans. The best way to use this power wisely is to decide that what you speak, choose to do, or intend to create will be in alignment with the divine beauty that is present in your heart. Again, coming back to self is so important here. The peacock beauty Kuan Yin in her graceful expression urges you to follow what is truly beautiful to your heart and to know that this will bring harmony within you and into the world's most into the world most freely. This is also an indicator that whatever project plan or purpose you've been contemplating is in alignment with the higher creativity of your soul. Don't worry if the details aren't unfolding as you thought they would. It is always wise to be clear with your intention and to surrender the details to the universe so that they can unfold accordingly to a greater version of your own. All you need to do is have faith and follow your intuition to take steps that feel heart-inspired to take and to have patience and trust in yourself and the universe. This is a blessing that you now, with her compassion and grace of Kuan Yin, helping you let go of fear or doubt about your own ability to create, whether it is music, writing, healing, a healthier body, or a clearer mind. The desires within you are already in process of being created. Don't give up, but do let go. Allow the beauty within to find its expression now. It is time for your inner beauty to shine. Yeah, you guys are coming up into a beautiful place, right? And I love that responsibility came out because, again, it shows that expressive creativity in manifest form. Like once, what once was just white and black is now being expressed on all the color scales. And that's a beautiful thing. And you guys are allowing yourselves to not create right now because you're trying to stand by your family. Or you're being hemmed in or pushed or pressured by your family not to do what is in your heart. And right now it is so important for you guys to do what's in your heart because that is a part of who you are. And that will also help you guys deal with these emotional feelings that have been bottled up and swept under the rug. It will allow you guys to express that, okay? A beautiful reading. Honestly, guys, I know it's been heavy, but this is a beautiful reading overall. I really hope this helps. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow Aquarians, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.